Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, welcome. My name is Jennifer and I post beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content on my channel three times a week. So if you like that type of content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and you also want to hit that bell so that way you are notified every single time I upload because I have so much content coming for you guys and I've already started planning my Christmas Vlogmas giveaways which I am so excited about. I can't wait to share with you what I will be giving away. I'm just so excited and I can't wait to see your reactions if you win one of these giveaways. But it is still the end of September which we do have some time until the holidays, but for today, I will be sharing with you my September favorites, and it's crazy to think that we are moving into October. It has just been such a crazy year with everything going on, and it's been such a weird year. It feels like the world is standing still, but yet the year is flying by. It's just, it's such a crazy time but I wanted to share with you what I have been loving for the month of September. So if you want to see what my September loves are, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. So first item is a fashion item and they are from the brand Mango. And if you've never shopped on Mango before, you are missing out. I love that website so much and their pieces are so high quality but they're not at a super high price point so if you've never shopped on mango before i highly recommend it but these are the pure white mules that i picked up and they are very bottega veneta vibes where they have the braided front right here and one thing that i absolutely love about these mules is that they are 100% leather and they were $99 and I just I couldn't resist. They also came in black. I really wanted those, but I just couldn't get my hands on them. When I tell you I stalked the website for these, I was literally on their website two to three times a day because as soon as they listed a size, within minutes it was sold out. I am normally a size eight and I saw that they had these in an eight and a half and I was so nervous to order them because I've never ordered shoes from them before. So I was worried an eight and a half might be a little too big. I am so happy that they fit perfectly. I am so happy. I have added these mules to my cart probably three or four times and every single time I went to go check out they were sold out and they are just so comfortable they are a little tight when you first get them because they are 100% leather so you do have to you know break in the leather and let it mold to your foot but I have been loving them the only con is that they are pure white so unfortunately I know ahead of time they're not going to stay pure white for very long um but they are just so beautiful I know it's really hard to see the detail on the camera so I'm going to insert a picture right here so that way you can see what they look like on the website they are so perfect for summer, for spring, even for fall, if you wore an all white outfit with a dark chocolate jacket or something like that, they're just so perfect. So moving on to some home items I've been loving. The first item is a candle and it's from the brand Sweetwater Decor. This is the farmhouse candle in number 26. And oh my God, you guys, this candle is the definition of fall. And if you follow me for a while, you know I don't like Bath and Body Works candles. You know I don't like Yankee candles. They're just too strong for me. And after a while, they just give me a headache. I don't like the fake scent. And oh my gosh, this candle just smells so so heavenly, Ugh, like it is the definition of fall. 
The main notes in this candle are apple, clove, cinnamon, and orange. So I'm going to try and describe this scent to you because it's honestly heavenly. Just imagine you, it is like a cool, crisp fall day, the leaves are changing, and you're going into a little mom and pop gift shop. It's very farmhouse, a lot of wood, it's very cozy, and when you walk in, you smell apple cider, hot apple cider, and you just feel warmth. That is kind of what I picture when I smell this candle. It is so good. I've never heard of this brand before and I randomly came across it on Amazon. And first of all, I love farmhouse style. I loved the packaging. The sticker just got me and it's so hard to see um, because it's white on white. So I will insert a picture right here. But the candle smells unbelievable and one thing I love about this candle is that the wax melts evenly across it is such a good fall candle I love this and I cannot wait to buy another one because I'm burning through this one so quick from what I read on the website these do have a 50 hour burn time so for $24, I think it was. This is probably the best purchase of the month. It's just so good. Next up is an item, huge item that I bought at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So it is a Barefoot Dreams blanket and I'm, I'll stand up and show you the, the full blanket, but on this side, it is kind of like a gold color with a light tan crisscross pattern. On all four corners, it has these really cute tassels. I purchased this item, like I mentioned, at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It was the very last one. They do have the another one that is light gray and dark gray, which I originally wanted, but they were sold out online. They were sold out in the store. These blankets go so fast. And I, I'm gonna stand up and show you because it's massive. And then this is what the other side looks like. So when I tell you I have used this blanket every single day and night since purchasing it, that is 100% the truth. This blanket is so warm, it's so cozy. Actually, since I got it, I've only been using this at night as my blanket to sleep with because it keeps you warm, it's so cozy, it's so unbelievably soft. This is such a good blanket. At the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I think I paid 110 for this blanket. It is very expensive. It's normally $168, but I honestly feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of this blanket because I'm using it multiple times a day, every single time, every day. I take it to the couch with me, it's in the bed with me. Like it is just so good. I have some other blankets that I love, but this one has very quickly become my all time favorite. And if I can get my hands on the gray version, I think I'm gonna splurge and buy that one as well because it's just that good. So if you're somebody that loves blankets and you wanna make an investment in a really good one, I highly recommend this because you will not be disappointed. So moving on to beauty, the first item is the One Size Beauty Makeup Dissolving Mist from Patrick Star. You guys know I purchased this in the wipes, I wanna say back in July or August. And when I first got them, I wasn't wowed by the wipes, to be honest. They were very dry, in my opinion. My Neutrogena ones were way more saturated with the solution. And at first, when I got this, I tried it and I was like, okay, yeah, it works. It takes your makeup off. And it didn't really wow me at first. 
I knew I would use it, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this makes a huge difference. But this month, I'm really loving this product. I picked it up in the beginning of the month again, just to try it again, and holy moly, I'm really falling in love with it. And mine is probably, I probably have like that much left into it. It's almost empty. I cannot wait to pick up another one because it really does just help take your makeup off. I know it sounds kind of um, stupid to say or very obvious, but when it comes to eye makeup and breaking down mascara and eyeliner or glitter, this is really, really good. I've really been loving this and I'm noticing that I can take my makeup off a lot quicker using this product. So I really love it. It's really really good if you haven't tried it so if you are looking to add something to your nightly routine I would definitely pick up this item it's a really really good one especially if you have waterproof makeup on so the next item I've been loving this month is the wet n wild photo focus translucent setting powder so this is actually the setting powder that I used in my can you one up me video so if you haven't seen that I will link it above and down below for you guys and I love this. When I started returning back to work at the end of August, I didn't want to use my hourglass setting powder because one, it's expensive, and two, I'm wearing a mask all day. So I didn't want to put on expensive powder just for it to rub off in the mask, if you know what I mean. So I decided to just start using my Wet n Wild powder, and I really, really fell in love with it. It is so good, and I think it was four or five dollars, very inexpensive. It's actually what I have on my face today. It's so pretty, it's a very fine powder. It doesn't leave you cakey or feeling very dried out. I just have been loving that. So that has been a good saving grace for me this month. Next up is my Huda Beauty Lipstick and Anniversary, and it's the one that I'm wearing today. And what's really interesting about this lipstick is you guys know I hate pink nude lipsticks. Hate them. They always look terrible on me. So it looks very brown in the lipstick container. And when I swatched it when I got home, it was very pink. And I was like, oh boy, I already don't like it, you know. But I was like, what the heck? Let me just try it on. Let me see how terrible it looks on me and this is the color i think it's so beautiful and it's something that i don't normally wear you know i love my chocolate browns my brown nudes everything like that this lipstick i'm loving and i've been wearing it every day it's just the perfect everyday lipstick i love it i love huda beauty products i think they just work so well so that has been a love of mine this month Next up is something that you guys probably can guess. It is the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle Matte Lipstick. And this is the chocolate brown shade in Thrilling. And I've posted so many pictures on Instagram wearing this lipstick. I've worn it in a few videos. I get so many compliments on this lipstick. It is the perfect fall color. I absolutely love it. If you haven't seen this lipstick on me yet, head over to my Instagram. I will leave that handle down below as well. Um, follow me on there because I do post every day, but I do have several pictures wearing this lipstick. It is so beautiful and the formula is so good. So way to go, Selena, because I love it. Next item is the lashes I'm wearing today. They are the Huda Beauty Camille 16s in Shorty. And I know that there's a glare, but these are a game changer for me. A hundred percent game changer. When I bought them, I was unsure if I would like the, what I call the half lashes. You know, they're basically just for the ends of your eyes. Well, middle to ends of your eyes. When I put them on for the first time, they, I just, I fell in love instantly. They are now my everyday go-to lashes. I haven't picked up another pair of lashes since I purchased these. They are so good. And one thing I love is that I don't have to trim them. 
It's you literally take them out of the box, put glue on and pop them on and you're ready to go for the day. And especially because I have hooded eyes, I'm always having to trim lashes. I usually have to start them a little bit further out because, you know, otherwise they'll stab my eyelid. These are just beyond perfect. If you need a really good pair of everyday lashes, I highly recommend these. They are something you need. And if you get them, let me know how much you love them because they are that good. The next item is from Orbe. It is the Gold Lust Pre-Shampoo Treatment. This treatment is designed to help repair the ends of your hair if they're very fried, if you have um, split ends, it helps to soften them. It doesn't get rid of split ends because if you know the only way to get rid of split ends is to get your hair cut, but it does help to soften them. And I've really been loving this product this month. This product is almost like a wax consistency, if you will. And it says to saturate the ends of your hair. And I think one thing that they should have put in the directions is that you have to warm it up first. If you scoop it out and put the product on the ends of your hair, it's very thick because it's almost like a wax. And what you need to do is when you scoop it out and you warm it up in your hands, it melts into an oil. And I've used it both ways because the first time I used this, I had no idea that you were supposed to warm it up in your hands. And so when I applied it, it was very thick. And when I used it, I was like, mm, I don't think it did anything. It doesn't wow me and for like 60 bucks, eh, it's past. But I decided to try it again. And when I was applying it, I had a chunk of the product kind of fall down. And just out of habit, I started rubbing my hands together and I noticed that it melted into this oil. And when I, I was like, oh, am I supposed to turn it into an oil? Am I supposed to heat it up? So when I applied it through my hair, it was a game changer. It made your ends feel so soft. I will say though, if you have baby fine hair, it may be too heavy for you. This is a product that you would need to use if you have medium hair, thick hair, coarse hair, a hair type that can take a little bit of a heavier product, but it is really, really nice. I noticed that because we were in quarantine for round two, my ends were starting to get like they needed a haircut and we weren't open yet. So I started using this pre-shampoo treatment and it really softened the broomstick end of mine. But luckily I will be getting my hair done soon, which I'm very happy about. So because it's a pre-shampoo treatment, you put it in dry hair, you wait 10 to 15 minutes, you get in the shower, you shampoo and condition your hair like normal. So this was a really good one and I'm glad that I figured out how to use the product properly because it made a huge difference. And last but not least is my all-time favorite body cream. And you guys know, if you followed me for a while, I like to apply body creams at night. I never apply anything in the morning because I just don't like the feeling on my skin under clothes. It just, I don't like it. And recently, my skin has been getting very, very dry because we're going into fall. So I decided to pick up more of the Orbe Cote d'Azur Restorative Body Cream and it's, it's amazing. Like if you are, have very dry skin and you need a really good body cream, not something that you have to apply twice a day, every single day. I'm talking about a body cream that absorbs, it leaves you non-greasy, you could apply it two or three times a week and have baby soft skin, then you need this product. It is expensive, I think it's 40 some dollars. I'm not really sure, but I will leave the price down below. It is worth every single penny plus interest. Like it is that good. And 
as you can see, I'm at the bottom. I do have another one of these because I cannot live without it. With the pandemic and us going through multiple closures, basically we've been shut down since March. Um, nail salons have not been open. So what I do at night is I've been putting this on my heels and my feet and my skin is so soft. It almost feels like I don't need a pedicure. Now, when nail salons reopen, you best believe I'm getting a pedicure because, you know, I just need one. But it's not like I have built up calluses on my feet or I have very dry skin on my feet. This is so good. And one of the main ingredients in this product is glycolic acid. So if you're not familiar, if you're not an esthetician, glycolic acid, although it sounds scary, is such an amazing ingredient because it exfoliates the skin. So what it does is it basically just removes the dead skin from your body or your face, depending on where you use it. Now there are many different types of glycolic acid. This is a very low level of glycolic acid. When you get facials and you go into stronger percentages, you do feel a burn, but this is so low because it's in a body product. It is so good. You know, I know when I'm really dry because I'll rub it on my arms or my legs and you will literally see clumps of dead skin. It sounds disgusting, but to me it's kind of satisfying because I know it's doing its job. It's removing all the dead skin. And in the morning when I wake up, my skin is baby soft. It is so good. And if you've never tried it, please treat yourself to this product because you will love it. And it doesn't leave you greasy whatsoever. It is so good. And I can't even tell you how good this smells. Like, if you know what Orbe products smell like, this is obviously their signature scent. I mean, you know how good the product smells. So treat yourself, you deserve it. This is so good, especially with the colder, drier months coming up. You will not want to be without this product. So that is all I have for you guys for this month's favorite videos. Let me know down in the comments what products you've been loving this month. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you are new here. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye you guys.